It's YouTube Wednesday. It's a great stuff pumpkin. This is great stuff, big gap filler. This is not the cheapest of the great stuffs. It's less expensive than Loctite. Normally you guys see stuff I do all the time, not today. Today I'm winging it because I think this will work. I know it would work with Loctite. I don't know if it'll work with great stuff. Give it a good shake. I have big plastic bowls from the dollar store. These were a buck 25 because now it's buck 25 store. Water mist. I'm not being stingy with the water because I don't want the great stuff to stick to the bowl. I'm controlling myself here. I'll take a peek in here at how I'm doing this. I think this is important to the success of this project. I'm just leaving this straw on the edge of the bowl. All right, that's one. Here's two. I don't want big fat beads. I'm trying to keep this bead a little bit narrow. I don't want to build up too much of a thickness. If I fall off, I just get right back on. Water mist, both of these. Biggest bowl Dollar Tree had. A couple other plastic bowls that would work. Just has to be a smooth inside of the bowl. I gotta wait a couple minutes. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna look at it. Countdown, four minutes. Never done anything with it. Alexa, stop. Okay, so this one was done first, so it's, it should be a little more set, and I can touch it. It has a skin. What it isn't is it's not like malleable, because it pops right back up after you touch it. And that's okay, because I don't need it for this project. I'm just gonna go around and kind of make sure that's not sticking too bad to the bowl. That's what I wanna make sure of, because I wanna be able to get this out of the bowl. I'm gonna start peeling it off of the edge of the bowl. And because it's already sprayed out, it's gonna keep its shape somewhat. Remember that tendency to bounce back is also its tendency to go right back to the edge of the bowl. It's not gonna collapse on itself. And I'm just gonna run my fingers around this outside edge. And it's, you know, stretching there more than I want it to. A little stuck, but I can use all the areas that aren't stuck and peel it back as much as I can. Not afraid of water, water's not a problem. Water is the least expensive ingredient that I've got. Mostly I'm trying this because of how many people want to do Great Stuff projects because Great Stuff is just cheaper. I get it. A little bit of water has allowed me to work that edge better. And now I'm, you can see how free I am around the outside of that bowl. I'm just running my fingers. I don't want it to stick to the bowl. I want to be able to free it. Just make sure, have a little bit of water down in there, hitting that bottom. It's out, this piece is out. I just wanna make sure that it doesn't stick to the bowl, and now I know that it won't. So I've got all my sides clear. It's whole tutorial, I made a foam bowl. All right, so now this one, it's got a good skin on it. I can push that, don't have to be as gingerly. I waited a little bit longer. I'm just able to run my hands around. That one's out, that's great. Okay, I'm putting it back. It's not sticky anymore, so I'm not worried about it sticking to the bowl, but I wanna keep that shape as much as I can. This will also allow it to rise up a little bit as opposed to just in. I don't wanna fill it, I wanna leave it pretty hollow. I've got to give this like 10 minutes. <laughs> That's going to be a pumpkin. I want to let this stiffen up. I'm going to give it that full 10 minutes, but now I trust it to hold its own shape. And if it wobbles out a little bit, I'm okay with that because it's, it's a pumpkin. I have a Lazy Susan. Got it from Amazon. Do you need it? I don't think you need it, but it makes life a little bit easier. 
and I'm all for having an easy, easy life. And I have a piece of wood that goes on top of that, just so my pumpkin isn't hanging off of the edges. I have the same can right now of great stuff. I don't know if I can make it work or if I can make it last, but we gonna try. And I think it's more prudent to go not in a line, because I think I would have a tendency to kind of lean one direction if I'm spinning and going around it. I did not spray the pumpkin. I did spray the wood. Uh, going up is easier than going down. And again, I want an easy life, so I'm just gonna go up. I'm on that same can of foam. If I could do a pumpkin this size with one can, I'd be very happy. I can't. Okay. Going to another can of foam. Nothing but net. Wood is a lot more absorbent than plastic. So I'm just making sure I use more water down there. I don't want to take forever doing this because I actually, it'll kick at different times, you know? Now, you could just carve your pumpkin out of the spheres you got from the two bowls once it fully cured. That's a possibility. I was gonna try and go for, you know, that full effect from here. All right. I think that's good. That might even be too many. Countdown, four minutes. Gonna do a little bit of training here with a very wet tongue depressor. Get this stuff out of the way. I don't want any of that too much. Again, some parts are ready and some parts are not. I don't wanna get this on my fingers, which is what happens with great stuff. At this point, I know I could put thin plastic over this and I could shape it through the plastic and then peel that plastic off. I know I could do that. I want to try and freeform it because I want it to be as low maintenance as possible for everybody else. Can you tell I don't trust Great Stuff Foam? Miraculously, it's ready. It, it's you have to wait that right amount of time. And I'm really pushing down here on this bottom to keep that rounded shape. Like, I don't hate this, man. This is uh, pretty good. So I've got some areas here where I've got in between the two, I don't have anything. And I'm spreading that out so those merge together. It sticks to itself, but everything puffs up. So I know that's gonna just puff up, but I can still coax it to do what I want and not have those weird Ridgeways. That that looks pretty pumpkin-y. These aren't smooth pumpkins. They're not gonna win a beauty contest. But it's hollow foam and it's carvable. So I will be turning this into a jack-o'-lantern. Now I have a popsicle stick, tongue depressor. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's a I think they call it a popsicle stick. I'm gonna just really how much can I change? I'm not breaking it. I'm like up here is where it really needs it. And I think at this point, I'm gonna do an, a, one of my other ideas. I'm gonna take some string and divide this guy up. To do that, I've gotta be able to get it off of this board, and I can. And I'm gonna grab some string, and I'm gonna go around this guy with some string. This is still expanding. And I am pulling down on that. I'm changing direction underneath, but I want these sections to rise a bit. All right, now I'm confined in some areas. While this is still expanding, it should uh, expand up a little bit more in these areas and not expand where there's strength. I'm gonna let this sit 10, 15 more minutes. Okay, we're hard enough. I think it's done growing. Did the string help? I think it helped. 
I'm going to paint it. So this takes a lot more babying. You have to sit with it longer. You have to mess with it more. I'm gonna say this worked. If I saw this from like 10 feet away, I would say that's a pumpkin. Is it the most beautiful pumpkin around? No, it's not. That's its beauty side, like right there. Gonna let that dry. Someone's gonna say it needs a stem. Somebody's gonna say it. It looks 80% more like a pumpkin now. <laughs> too sticky. I gotta wait. I'm not gonna wait. Remember everybody, I would have much better results if I waited for this paint to dry. But that's not who I am as a person. My second pumpkin, I'll wait for the paint to dry. Right now I'm not having it. Now the great stuff inside is already hard. I know that. I'm not worried about that at all. Really should wait for that paint to dry. I'll just paint it again. Just orange, it's not like it's hard. Hole in the bottom or hole in the top? Like a regular pumpkin, hole in the top? Okay. Here I am exposing my bottom hole on the internet. I'm just getting rid of some of the excess thickness. It's a little too thick, which I think with some practice I could fix and not have it be that thick. This is my first one. Cut me some slack. Because Robert was impatient, I have to repaint the outside. So I don't hate that. It looks better in this light than it does even on camera. Sometimes Robert says stuff like, that looks really good on camera, which is Robert saying, eh, it looks better in the camera than it does in person. <laughs> so this week it's a great stuff uh, pumpkin project. Um, last video that we did was a Loctite foam werewolf mask. This is all Loctite foam. And I just want to remind people that this is going to be given away to one of our subscribers on Patreon. September 15th, we'll pick who it is. So you have up until September 15th to join Patreon and then you could win the werewolf mask. Now it's a mask. <laughs> Go make stuff. This is the part of the video where I always give a shout out to Patreon subscribers. And I wanna do that too. But what I wanna do right now is I wanna say a big thank you to all of our new Patreon subscribers who uh, have a chance to win that werewolf mask. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then well, there's a werewolf mask that you could win if you join Patreon by September 15th. So, go make stuff, and thanks! <laughs>